trash chute in the building at which I live. And I delight in hearing the bag descend five floors to its temporary destination. There is just something about that mysterious journey. But that's really where it ends for me. My curiosity does not extend to the destination of the bag beyond the trash chute. Uh, Whether it finds itself in a truck, uh, travels over many miles to a landfill, that really doesn't interest me because the rubbish is no longer my responsibility. We gather tonight having flirted with being spiritual hoarders. Those who refuse to release the rubbish of sin that is in our lives. We hang on to it, believing that it remains our responsibility. Uh, Perhaps uh, we need to make it stink less as we improve our behavior and change our actions. Or uh, perhaps we need to reduce the amount that is in our bag relative to the bags of others. Therefore, feeling better about the trash that we may generate. And it doesn't just extend to our refuge. The trash collector may come around to grab the bags of our neighbors and friends only to have us prevent him from taking it, believing that they need to hang on to it a little bit longer because it has created such a stink in our lives. They need to deal with it and understand how bad their trash has impacted us before it can be taken away. There was an occasion that my daughter went with me to the dump. She was fascinated by the concept of the place where all of our refuse would be gathered. And so we drove there with a truckload of deposit. And we made our way through the hills of trash, the stink that permeated even the closed windows of the truck, And she saw for herself this desolate place, uh, this uh, terrible experience, this horrific smell. And having been there together, driving away from that, her expression to me was, that is something that I will never forget. And that is our expression as we gather here. Because Jesus declares about the refuse of those before him. The refuse of those that extend uh, beyond time and place. Father, forgive them. And the meaning of that word forgive is send it away. Send it away from them. They are no longer responsible for it. And Jesus prays that, willing to take the responsibility. Jesus prays that, having become our trash collector, hanging there on the cross in the midst of the dump of our own sin, saying to his Father, send it away from them. An expression that reverberates throughout the Bible, which declares to us, Your sin has been removed from you as far as the east is from the west. And the reality is that you couldn't hope to find it even if you wanted to. In that place of desolation, the awful sights that are to be seen there, the stink of death that surrounds even Jesus, you will never be able to find your rubbish any more than you could make your way to the dump 
and find the trash that had been taken from you and place there. And that is something that we will never forget. We remember it not just every year or every week, but every day. Because he forgives us. He sends it away.